Welcome back to Chicago District Golfer. You know, there's something special about playing a vintage course. You can almost feel yourself going back in time. Let's take a quick journey out to Rock Island, Illinois, and a layout that dates back to 1897. The Ultimate Driving Tour is brought to you by BMW. Arsenal Island Golf Course debuted with just five holes, and by 1902, it was a complete 18 holes. Colonel Stanhope Blunt was the pioneering golf enthusiast who orchestrated the design of the first nine holes just before the turn of the century. I think you come away with a, an experience that, uh, number one, I think you get a little bit of a patriotic feel coming on post, uh, seeing a soldiers in uniform uh, going amongst their offices and things like that. And then when you get done, you truly get a, a sense that you played an old, old golf course. Um, you know, one of my favorite uh, things to say about here is we're, we're 1897 and we can't buy that. Um, that's just something that you've got and uh, we've got it here and, and when you're done, uh, you don't get quite the same sense that you played the old course at St. Andrews, but you know you played a really old one and everybody enjoys it. The once private Arsenal Island opened its fairways to the general public in 2010. This unique course on United States Army land is truly on an island surrounded by the mighty Mississippi River. It's very traditional, uh, very narrow, large trees. Uh, it's a very demanding golf course off the tee. If you can drive it straight here, um, you, can, you have a chance to have a really good round. The golf course won't steal anything from you. Nothing tricky about it, it's very straightforward. If you don't drive it very well um, off the tee, you're gonna be in the trees a lot and that's gonna make it hard. It's not a long golf course, only about 6,600 yards from our very back tees. Arsenal Island is still an active U.S. Army garrison, home to more than 70 departments of defense. The island also served as a Confederate prison camp back in the 1860s. In fact, many of those prisoners are buried right on the grounds next to the golf course. If you've come to the arsenal and you don't take a look uh, out over the river at the other side to the Iowa side of the river and or Take a look at the, the amazing limestone houses along the first and second fairway that the generals here uh, live in. Um, you've really missed a lot of what the experience here is. It's, uh, it's not just about playing golf. It is a great golf course and it's a lot of fun for all levels of play. But if you don't really take a look around at the arsenal and check out the, the architecture and uh, the housing and the river, um, you've missed uh, the really special parts of our golf course. From the bullet tee markers to the mega large barges channeling down the Mississippi, this golf course is a pleasure to play and one that makes you proud to be an American. With rates always under $40, the Arsenal Golf Course is worthy of a visit and a salute. Let's switch gears now and head over to Chicagoland's Custom Club Fitters. Hi, my name is Nick Sherburn with Club Champion Golf. Today we're going to be discussing what peering means. Peering is finding the principal plane of oscillation in a golf shaft. And what that means is finding the point in which the shaft should be inserted into the golf club to make it swing the same way every time. Shafts are very, very different from shaft to shaft to shaft. If golf shafts were perfectly round and straight, they would bend the same way on every golf shot, no matter how they were inserted into the head. But that's not necessarily the case. SST peering determines the most stable orientation for the shaft to be inserted into the head. After the shaft and head are glued together after SST peering, the shaft will bend and perform much more consistently through the hitting zone. The SST peer machine uses a weighted arm to simulate the way the golf shaft must oscillate during the golf swing. It then twists the shaft at the same time to measure the shaft's movement in finding the most stable point. We then can insert the shaft into the head with the most stable point at three o'clock position for a right-handed golfer. At the end of the day, the best players in the world are choosing to peer their golf clubs, and so can you. What peering means for your game is hitting straighter, more solid shots, lowering your scores, helping you beat your buddies on the weekend, or winning your club championship. The peering of clubs certainly makes for more stability at impact. Up next, it's time to see and hear all of the excitement coming here to Medina and the Ryder Cup. 